for coming, first of all. And your thoughts on the first two periods of tonight's game? Uh, very exciting hockey. One of the best best hockey I've seen of witnesses and coach for uh, all my all my life long. Uh, let's talk a little bit, of, first of all, on your Fitchburg series, Husky. I wasn't able to see any of those games, of course, being with the Budman. Could you tell us a little bit about that series? Uh, Fitchburg, uh, as you know, is a young team uh, lacking a little experience and lacking a little depth. And uh, I think uh, within a few seasons that the uh, be one of the strongest contenders this league. Okay. Uh, That's why we had a trouble with them. Okay. We had to go to the fourth game. You had to go to the fourth game. <laughs> Um, your thoughts on, on the Concord Manchester series. Uh, you must have been surprised to hear that the Budmans swept uh, Manchester three straight. I, I was re really surprised. I, I didn't think that uh, the Budman, first of all, been playing uh, oh, downhill since the first of the year. And especially the last game in Lewiston, they lost uh, to the Wings 10 3. I figured that uh, they'll have to really come out with a miracle. But. Uh, Former Berlin boys, Bob Tive coach, and Johnny Norman there, I, I knew Garjan well. Sooner or later, they would revive the team and they would come strongly. And that's the proof of the pudding right there. They, they beat uh, Ron Gosen's team of All-Stars, and uh, they deserve to be uh, doing that in three straight games. Okay, you, you played this, this Budman team six times during the regular season. You beat them four times. You got beat once and tied once. Uh, what are you going to have to do here in the third period to come out and uh, overcome this 3-2 uh, deficit? If I had say so, you're going to revolve the... Devolve the, the secret to Bob. Oh no, we, we don't have a direct line down to the locker room. We we won't tell him. No, all I all, oh, I don't I don't think uh, I'll have to say too too much. So they know the boys the boys know they're down and uh, tomorrow I'm going to conquer. If, if they can't they can't accomplish this thing here tonight. That it's going to be tremendously hard to do it down there. If they uh, on the on the hand of hand on the other hand, if they do win here tonight, it'll be a little easier tomorrow night. Uh, I don't have to say too too much. I think the boys realize what they they're faced with. I thought that the play of Joey Martin here in the first two periods, he, he really takes control out there and he makes things happen for your team. Uh, yes, you know, he had a lot of experience to play junior hockey up in Canada. And, uh, and, uh, but uh, working out of town, he can attend all the practices the team makes and that makes it a little hard. But uh, he, he tries to cope with it with this being, a, being in, in the lineup and on the ice at, uh, when I call upon him. Now you got a couple of injured players, Ron Legier and uh, Mark Richards. That's got to hurt a little bit. Uh, it certainly does, especially uh, Ron. Uh, Ron was, you know, Ron with uh, Weasel up ahead, and uh, RJ was, you know, one of the lines that uh, was, uh, you know, we, we we counted all year long. But, but Ron missing, you know, it makes it a little, you know, a little harder. Uh, and of course, we're used to skating four lines, and uh, right now it's pretty hard with uh, weak links on missing you know, amongst a couple lines. Back to tonight's game in the first period. Uh, it was a one one all game at the end of the period. But I I thought with uh, any kind of luck on your side at all, it could have been a four to one hockey game. The, the play of Ray Laterno was just exceptional uh, in the first he period. He was tremendously exceptional. I I, I don't know if he, <laughs> he's got rabbits running around here, but still <laughs> he's really done a marvelous job. And I think probably that's the reason why that the uh, uh, Concord was able to uh, defeat Manchester also. Yes, he was definitely the. The, the factor in those three games he he was hot and he and he stayed hot and that's why uh, coach Bob Tardif said he's going to go with him and until he you know until he drops <laughs> I don't blame him at all okay we're between the second third periods here at Notre Dame Arena in Berlin with the score Concord three Berlin two I'd like to thank my second period guest Husky Poirier and I, I want to wish you luck in the remainder of the series but not a whole lot of luck Husky. <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> okay thanks for being